phone here to tell us that your date is missing. I think he was taken. Brian, you sound like a crazy white woman. I'm a concerned citizen. Yeah, that's something a crazy white woman would say. Ready or not. You were supposed to start dating as a way to face your divorce. Was I really the only thing holding you together, D? Damn. Excuse Damn, me. Damn, would you Felicia mind your damn business? God. Gonna find you. I am in search of a man with whom I had a beautiful connection. And yo, you yo, want yo. Me. Yo, this is a bad plan. If anything feels off, we'll go. Off, off, off. Murderer. Honey. Yeah. We just wanted to talk. We can talk on the way. Hop in. Oh, no. We just get ourselves kidnapped. Who are you? Diara. Diara? Diara. Keep my name out your... Somebody save the fish! I walk around like I'm it. Whoa, my heart is racing after that. <laughs> Diara from Detroit follows a divorcing school teacher who refuses to believe that she has been ghosted by her rebound, her Tinder date. Yeah, nobody likes that. Her search for the missing man pulls her into a decades-old mystery involving the Detroit underworld. Love the premise of this. As the case unfolds, her co-workers, her friends, and lovers become unlikely allies as she falls down a dangerous rabbit hole. And here to talk about the new show is Diara herself, Diara Kilpatrick. And John Chaffin, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much you. for having us. We're yes. so we're so glad to have you here with us this morning. Talk to us a little bit about Diara from Detroit uh, for those who haven't heard about the series. Well, like you said, um, I play Diara Brooklyn, who is a school teacher who's going through a divorce. You know, she meets a nice guy on Tinder. They hit it off, and she thinks this is it. She thinks this is her rebound, and unfortunately, he ghosts her. And she's like, I'm too amazing to be ghosted. And so she she takes to the streets of Detroit to try to get to the bottom of it. And when she starts looking for him, she finds out that maybe he's actually not just her missing date, but a missing person. So it's a really fun, mysterious, and also kind of funny take on the amateur detective series. Yeah, well, your first lesson there is there are no nice guys on Tinder, but I guess that's yeah. uh, what the series is all based around. Now, John, you're a New Yorker. You're asked to play a Detroiter. Did you have to do any re research mm -hmm. on that? Or is there any similarities, differences? Tell us a little bit about the New York-Detroit difference. Yeah, I mean, well, the weather's the same pretty much. <laughs> you know, I didn't have to do too much research on that. But, uh, you know, just the essence of the people from the city, you know, uh, just really want to capture the spirit of Detroiters, you know. So doing my research, you know, listening to a lot of uh, music from Detroit, watching videos, really just wanted to get into the spirit of Detroit so that way when they watch it, they see themselves on camera. Hmm. We love that. Speaking about seeing themselves in the city on camera, what were your favorite areas of the city filming here locally? What stands out? Oh, man. Oh, man. We actually, <laughs> we actually didn't shoot in Detroit. You see a lot of Detroit B-roll, but unfortunately, um, this is such a good opportunity to talk to Detroit voters. You guys voted down the tax incentive. And so a lot of really wonderful projects um, that are set in Detroit don't have the opportunity to film there. So this is my little PSA of like, please bring it back. Please <laughs> vote for but the tax incentive, we did infuse as much Detroit in the show as we could. Obviously, I'm a native Detroiter. We have other cast members who are native Detroiters. We have so much music from emerging talent in the city, from Bev Love to Paris Noel to, to Cash Doll, I swear, Vezo. You know, so we did do as much as we could to make it feel as Detroit as possible. But unfortunately, we weren't able to shoot there. So glad I asked that. Well, we, <laughs> nonetheless, we are so glad to talk to a native Detroiter and have you here with us this morning. We appreciate it. Can't wait to check it out. Thank you so much. Thank you.